to the nightcap for a chance to play Jenks in the title game. It was between Broken Arrow and Owasso. The Tigers dominated the first meeting between the teams in September 47 to 20. But tonight's game would be a shockingly different kind of show. Shocking because these teams would combine for far less than 67 points. In fact, the game was scoreless after the first half. Look at the scoreboard. Not too much action for the fans. Second half, though, Tyler Crawford finally lights it up. 31-yard field goal puts the Tigers up 3-zip. Owasso driving now. Will Keeney trying for something, but intercepted by Aaron Stokes. Big play from the Tiger defense. But no points for the Rams. Moving ahead. The B.A.'s ensuing drive. Noah Cortez finally going to get the game's first touchdown. As he works his way in, makes it 10-0 broken arrow. So, looks like the Tigers are in good shape. Not so fast. Owasso answers Keeney. It's Mario Kirby. He's got a chance to go. And he is going to take advantage. Down the sideline, 65-yard score. It's a 10-7 ball game. Final seconds of this one. Two seconds. Last play of the game. Broken arrow. Literally trying for the Hail Mary to go to state. But it is not going to happen for the defending state champs. Knocked off by Broken Arrow as B.A. scores its third trip to the title game in program history. 10-7 the final. Last trip coming in 2011 when the Tigers lost to Union by a single point. Head coach David Alexander with a prediction for this title game with Jenks. The toughest teams win those close ball, ball games, right? And um, we were the tougher the team tonight. Not by much, right? Three points. Um, we also had a great game plan um, defensively. It's going to be either a 10-7 to 7 ball game in two weeks or it's going to be 42-39 in two weeks. Right? It's going to be a three-point ball game um, when, we, when we play Jinx. Well, that would sound pretty exciting to me. The Tigers and Trojans will play for the title at TU Friday, November 30th.